St. Peter's Day. It's a very interesting church. This is the main stone that is present on most churches. There were some fantastic views. Just look at the size of this beauty. She was amazing. St. Bridget's Church. St. Bridget of Kildare, 6th century, St. Bride. It is said that the nuns of the convent she founded kept a fire burning in memory of her. However, it may be inferred that the symbol refers to her good works. While the oak wreath represents Kildare, white was the colour of her habit, a red lamp, green wreath on a white field. St Matthew the Evangelist, the emblem of the Divine Man was assigned to St Matthew in ancient times because his Gospel teaches us about the human nature of Christ, a golden angel on a red field. Yeah. St Mark the Evangelist, the winged lion, ancient symbol of St Mark, refers to his Gospel which informs us of the royal dignity of Christ, a gold winged lion and nimbus on a red field. St Luke the Evangelist, the winged ox assigned to St Luke, is a reference to his Gospel which deals with the sacrifice aspects of Christ's life, a gold ox and nimbus on a red field. St John the Evangelist, the ancient symbol of a rising eagle, is said to have been assigned to St John because his gaze pierced further into, into the mysteries of heaven than any other man. The manner of his death is not known, a golden eagle rising and a nimbus on a blue field. St Michael's Church. This was a shame really. This church was closed. It looks like it's closed for good but it's open to community project. There was a telephone number so maybe we could contact them in the future. Our next part of the journey took us over the bridge of the River Wye to a nice little church called St Mary's Church of Floyd. It was tucked away in a really nice location. What was really interesting on approach, we came to a magnificent yew tree. What was interesting is the old part was dying and the new part was new. The tree is about transformation. It was wonderful to see the newness of it inside. St Mary's Church was full of symbolism. You can see here the Last Supper. But what was really interesting 
was here, you could see all Mary Magdalene, Mary, and all the symbols that was presented on this cross. We spotted the green man. He was tucked away in the corner on this beautiful wooden entrance. Came back over the Y. You can see the heron in the background. I love these little bridges. And then we ended up at the trig point. And our circular journey back. And then last but least, we popped into St Mary's in Ross and Wye, which was a magnificent church. Again, the symbolism.